Greetings everyone! You're watching the channel Aviation Obsession. Why are Russia and China afraid of America's P-8 Poseidon submarine killer? If you are curious about the answer, stay tuned. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for future uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. The Boeing-built P-8 has established itself as a versatile and effective aircraft capable of long-range, extended-duration reconnaissance and surveillance tasks, as well as naval strike missions. Likewise, the Poseidon is a valuable weapon for the Navy when it comes to anti-submarine warfare operations. Although the P-8 Poseidon maritime patrol plane does not have the same visual impact as the F-35-style fighter, it is closer to the front lines of international battlegrounds in the Pacific Ocean. Maritime patrol planes are crucial for tracking the movements of ships, especially submarines, across vast oceanic waters and possibly sinking them in the event of hostilities. As we all know, hunting submarines from the air demands a lot of airframes and requires a lot of air force. To support this mission, the U.S. Navy has activated three Orion patrol aircraft. However, the P-3's equipment is exhibiting signs of wear and tear after serving for 55 years and clocking thousands of service hours. As a result, the U.S. Navy decided to replace the outdated P-3 in 2004 with the jet-powered P-8 Poseidon. Let's examine the P-8 Poseidon aircraft in more detail. We'll start with the design. The P-8 is a 737-800ERX with 737-900 base rings that has been weaponized. Its fuselage resembles but it is longer than that of the U.S. Navy's 737-700 base C-40 Clipper transport aircraft. It also includes wingtips similar to those on the Boeing 767-400ER rather than the blended winglets found on 737-NG variants and has a sturdy fuselage for low-altitude operations. The P-8 also contains a new electronic support measure system, a new electro-optical infrared sensor, a digital magnetic anomaly detector, an active multi-static and passive acoustic sensor system, an inverse synthetic aperture radar, and several more sensors. This aircraft can accommodate a nine-person crew with a dual pilot cockpit, five mission crew members, a relief pilot, and an in-flight technician. Additionally, this aircraft is armed with an internal fire station weapons bay, four wing pylons, and two centerline pylons, all of which are backed by digital store management and may carry mines, torpedoes, and joint missiles. In the case of conflicts, the Poseidon may deploy six additional missiles, depth charges, or torpedoes from underwing racks in addition to the five that it may carry in a rotary launcher in the rear hull. The PA can also convert its Mark 54,324mm lightweight torpedoes into GPS-guided glide bombs that can be launched at heights of up to 30,000 feet by using a specialized high-altitude air launch adapter. Last but not least, this aircraft is also capable of transporting 150-mile range Harpoon AGM-84 HK anti-ship missiles. The PA can fly at altitudes of up to 41,000 feet and reach the battleground at speeds of up to 490 knots. Shorter transit times could reduce the size of the area of probability when looking for submarines and surface vessels. The P-8 Poseidon is likewise intended for low-altitude flights, and it has already proven useful in search and rescue and humanitarian missions. It is a tried-and-true system with over 100 aircraft in operation and over 300,000 flying hours. The P-8's performance and dependability provide confidence in an uncertain world in any condition, in a place, and at any time. Additionally, the P-8 uses less fuel than the P-3 despite having a stronger engine to function at low altitudes. It is built to carry out the majority of its tasks from a high altitude where the thinner air promotes greater fuel efficiency and offers better visibility for certain of its sensors. The Poseidon may also loiter overhead at speeds as low as 173 knots and stay on station for extended periods of time, thanks to its in-flight refueling capability. With a top speed of 490 knots, it can outpace the P-3 aircraft it is replacing by 173 knots. Another distinction is that Poseidon's broad array of sensors serves as its primary payload. These include an Apai-10 multi-mode synthetic aperture radar, which not only detects the position of ships hundreds of miles away, but also has a high resolution that can identify submarine periscopes poking above the waves and even distinguish between different classes of ships. This aircraft is equipped with a shorter-range search option given by MX-20 Electro-Optical or Infrared Turret 
while an ALQ240 electronic support measure derived from a system on board, the EA18G Growler serves as an electromagnetic sensor that is highly useful in tracking the positions of radar emitters. Surprisingly, the P-8 has a wide range of crucial technologies for tracking submerged submarines. It has a rotating launcher that can launch sonar into the water. Due to a recent modification, P-8s may now use multi-static active coherent sonar systems, which produce several sonar pulses over time and have a wider search area, along with an innovative hydrocarbon sensor that can sniff out underwater fuel vapor. The P-8 also includes its own acoustic sensor, the Poseidon was assigned to the U.S. Navy's VP-16 squadron at Kadena Air Base on Okinawa in 2013, and around 50 of the planned 117 aircraft are now in U.S. service. Another point worth mentioning is the controversy surrounding the P-8 Poseidon's operational history. One of the incidents happened on August 19, 2014. A Chinese J-11 fighter came within 30 feet of a P-8 jet flying more than 130 miles east of Hainan Island. The fact that Beijing's observation plane was intercepted has been the source of numerous diplomatic disputes between Washington and Beijing. The issue arises from Beijing's claim to vast areas of the South China Sea that are regarded as international waters by the majority of the rest of the world. The United States maintains its right to fly over these waters and will continue to patrol them. Furthermore, the P-8 once complicated the Russian military. On May 9, 2017, a Poseidon patrolling the Black Sea was within 20 feet of a Russian Su-27 fighter jet. The P-8s have also been trained to find Russian submarines. The aviationist claims that Poseidons were looking for one or two carriers in December 2016 to hunt Oscar-class submarines in the Mediterranean. The U.S. Navy P-8 from Italy was patrolling within its radar range over the Black Sea during the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022, at or before the time the Russian Navy cruiser Moskva suffered damage and caught fire on April 13. When questioned, the U.S. did identify the ship as the Moskva as part of intelligence sharing to help Ukraine defend against attack from Russian ships. Finally, it should be noted that the P-8 is also well known in Commonwealth nations, the first of 12 to 15 P-8 of patrol aircraft that will replace Australia's 3C patrol aircraft has arrived. The United Kingdom has ordered nine P-8s, and New Zealand approved the purchase of four Poseidons for $1.46 billion in 2017. In addition, five more P-8s are on their way to Norway as part of a new $110 billion arms deal with Saudi Arabia that appears to include at least three P-8s. Several nations are looking into using these patrol planes, including Turkey, South Korea, and Canada. That's it for now. What are your thoughts about this aircraft? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.